we're looking one more day here at Enoch, or actually I've got two days here, and so all week long, Enoch walked with God, and we want to walk with God also. Very important subject. Look, walking with God is a life of fruitfulness. Did you know that? When you walk with God, did, did you know that his favor will shine upon you? <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if you're living for God and you're walking close to God, then the devil's going to come after you. Oh, he will. He'll bring a crisis into your life. That's what he did here with Enoch. Why did Enoch walk with God? Look in Genesis 5.22. Enoch, after he begot Methuselah, his son, Enoch walked with God 300 years. Now, Enoch is 65 years old when him and his wife had Methuselah. And now this is a crisis in his life. Why? I'm going to tell you, if I'm 65 years old and my wife gives birth to a baby, <laughs> that's it. It's a crisis. It's a huge crisis. I don't want any more kids. I've been down that path. That's enough. Okay, so Methuselah was born and God gave him his name and his name meant when he is dead, it will come. Okay, so he knew Enoch was a preacher of God. He preached for God. He was a servant of God. And when you walk really close to God, let me tell you, if you walk real, real close, God will share secrets with you. I know some of you are going to say, boy, Pastor Mike, start to whack out. No, no, I'm not. Well, what happened is, I'm not saying God's going to talk to you. I've, I've never heard God talk. But there's times in which something will overwhelm me, and I'll know. I know exactly what I'm. I know exactly what I have to do. I know exactly what's coming, and it's not here yet. Because when you walk real close to God, He'll make your life fruitful, and He will bless you. But I'm telling you, the devil will come after you too. So, so what happened is, Enoch saw his son was a prophecy that when his son was going to die, that the judgment of God was going to come down upon the earth. And that was true, and that's what happened. So, uh, so sometimes God uses a crisis in your life to get you to follow him, come close to him, walk with him. Methuselah, when he, well, yeah, when he is gone, it will be sent. That's what his name meant there. Look at Amos 3, verse 7. Surely the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servants, the prophets. Okay, so God will share his secrets with those who are walking close to him, serving him. Look at 2 Peter 3, 9. This will explain why God waited so long. So here's Enoch. He's living on the edge. He knows that when his son dies, judgment's coming. Well, who knows when his son is going to die? Well, his son lived to be 969 years old. That's a long time. But as soon as he died, the flood, Noah's flood came. But Methuselah had to die first. Okay, why did God wait that long? Look here, 2 Peter 3, 9. God's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Do you, do you know why the rapture of the church hasn't happened yet? You remember, I, I, I taught in prophecy, uh, our morning series, that God said, that the Jews that were born in 1948 when Israel was made a nation, they will not pass away until the rapture takes place. Wow, that's been, that's been good over 70 years now. Why, why is God waiting so long? Because God is patient and he's loving and he's caring and he wants everyone to be saved because he's a wonderful, compassionate God. Do you want your life to count for God? Let me ask you, do you want your life to count for God? Well, then walk with him. I want to encourage you to walk with him. And you say, but Pastor Mike, you, you don't know what recently has happened in my life. I know some of you have had a great crisis take place. Well, I'm here to tell you upon the authority of God's word and upon the authority of my own personal experience. Did you know that God can take that crisis that's come into your life? He can take the worst thing, the very worst thing ever imaginable to happen to you and make it the most, bring the, the, the most beautiful blessings from tragic situations like people being saved. Listen, walk with him. Just walk with him. I want to encourage you. Say, oh God, today, I want to get as close to you as I can. 